Hello, welcome Capricorn. This is going to be a reading for April 13th to April 19th, 2020. Thank you to all my current subscribers, all my views. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you don't want the notifications to interrupt your phone, then just do not hit the bell icon, is what I would suggest. So please remember, there's no way this can connect with every single Capricorn out there. And the masculine and feminine energies are just energies we all have, so feel free to vice versa those. And if this doesn't apply to you, do not force it to fit. There's no way it can apply to every single Capricorn out there. So, if it does fit, then that's good. I read the cards and you decide if it fits and where it would apply in your life to what people or persons around you. So I shuffle the cards before I turn the camera on. I just give them one more shuffle and cut the deck. So I'm going to start with the Fantasy Cats Oracle cards first. For you. So the first one we have for you, Capricorn, is safe and surrounded by love. 17. Keep your heart open and know you are being protected. Listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you. So what's going on around you, Capricorn? So let me see. 17. Says... It can be nice to remember that you have continual light and love around you. The universe acts as a doting mother surrounding you with light and darkness will never be able to overcome. Know that you are safe through the core of your very being. Be brave, bold, and willing to be individual. Trust that you are surrounded by protection and love. You may choose to call in some extra light from the universe when needed. The dolphin is a highly honored creature. Throughout the ages, dolphins have been portrayed as the protectors of sacred wells and sacred water. The dolphin in Celtic lore is the watcher of the waters and the guardian of all things connected with water. Dolphins are among the most intelligent animals. So the next one we have for you... You get this a lot. The gift of neutrality, 34. Balance is at work in your life. Yin and yang are opposites in energy but reside side by side to create the gift of neutrality. Neutrality. This is, you guys have got this for like a month, I believe, in almost every reading. So you're balancing something out, but it's taking you a while, it seems like. Reflect on your behaviors and how you are living. Does your current lifestyle express the truth? Look for ways to bring yourself into balance with your true spirit. Balance comes through self-effort. Begin the process of harmonizing all areas of your life by dedicating time to everything that is important to you. You are being shown the importance of action and inaction. Become aware of how you think about or respond to your environment. Remove judgment or preconceived notions about opportunities or individuals. Approach situation as blank canvases with a willingness to experience things without bias. Try to neutralize how you feel about a situation. Remove the desire to label a situation good or bad. Try to think of it as how it is, as the saying, it is what it is, to help support your sense of well-being. This is a Nautilus. It's a representation of beauty and sacred geometry and balance. And remember it says that those can take pressure changes. So right now you can take changes really abruptly. So 49, be insightful and established. Ground and rebalance your energy. Bring your awareness into the now rather than allowing it to occupy past or future. So I don't know if some of you are reflecting on the past or you're thinking too much about the future, but obviously the card says be in the now. So let me find this. Oh no, I dropped a card. Okay, 49. It's close, so close. Okay, here it is. This is a pretty card too. Certain things can happen when you are ungrounded. You may find you make mistakes or miss important opportunities. It is imperative that you ground yourself. You can do this by making time for meditation, 
tuning into your physical needs, taking a deep breath, or getting out to nature. So ground yourself. Be insightful and established. Okay, we're going to switch to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck now. And you have the floating cat. So this is you trying to make a decision. You're up in the air about something. And this is usually my yes card if that helps Capricorn. But this is you contemplating something that confuses you. You don't know which way to go. This is representative of Aquarius in the regular tarot. But to me it is Leo. So this could be a cusper because it changes from Aquarius to Capricorn. So that's what this could signify. Then you have the tower. So the tower happens when something has to change. The universe will make something fall apart if it's not for our highest good. So something is going to fall apart in your life and just try to go with it. Try to ground yourself is what that said. You have the gift of balance. You're safe and surrounded. So safe and surrounded, balance and grounded for what's coming. Oh, for a C. So this says that you are depressed. You're not noticing the good things around you. You're stuck in a negative vibration to where you're depressed. So try to come out of that. Don't stay in it too long, Capricorn. It's harder to get out the longer you stay. So Nine of Sky, this is you really stressed out. You can't sleep. You could be having nightmares. You're very, very stressed. And this is Ten of Earth. This is my Abundance card. So either you're helping somebody or somebody's helping you. This is my Generosity card. To where somebody helps somebody. And the next one is lovers. This is beautiful. This could represent a Gemini in your birth placement or around you. The cats are laying on a purple blanket, which would be healing from love. And then the flowers represent passion to me. So I don't know if you're healing from a past love and you're moving into a more passionate love cycle. Sky Kitten. So Sky Kitten is a couple things. This could be something new coming into your life. Or this could be immaturity. So I don't know if you're acting immature. If somebody around you is acting immature. It's almost like it could be a annoying immature. Where somebody is, is making you unbalanced basically. So this is a chariot. Capricorn, this is your life going in a new direction. Something is coming in. And it's going to cause you to go in a new direction in your life. Oh, what am I doing? I did the wrong one. Sorry. I'll pull that one a little bit. So this is Sky Queen. This is somebody watching you. And they don't say very much. So they just watch you. Ten of C. This is my vacation card or my family card. So you're either going to be traveling to be around family or traveling to take a vacation. So what that implies, Sky Tom. So this says that somebody is going to be really rude to you, really condescending, really not nice. This is Earth King. This is my Heaven card, Capricorn. So this is somebody in Heaven acknowledging and wanting you to know they're around you, which it says surrounded by love. So I really feel... Like this is somebody from heaven coming out saying they're, they're with you. They're by you. And it said dolphins are really intelligent. So you're surrounded by love. Somebody who's in heaven is acknowledging in this reading that they're around you. So eight of earth to me is a skill or a behavior that you're teaching somebody else. So you have to decide, is this a good skill? Is it a bad behavior? What are you teaching somebody else? Or a bunch of other people are picking up your skill. Two of sky is you trying to make a decision about something. You're not sure which way to go. And this is something from a while ago. The flags are torn. The moon looks far away. It's something maybe you didn't deal with a few years ago. Or you're not sure what direction to move into. Or you want to go back to something. This is the moon card which could represent a Pisces in your birth placement. 
or around you, but this usually means a secret is going to be revealed, somebody's dark side is going to be revealed, something is going to come out in the open. Nine of C. Nine of C is you dreaming about what you want your future to be like. And this is a good card. You can manifest what you want your future to be like and what you want to bring to you. So three of fire is you looking to the universe asking why things are happening the way they are. You don't understand it. And you, you're just confused. This would represent co-workers around you. Something to do with your co-workers. So I'm going to switch to the Charcoal Wisdom deck now. And you have Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is you walking away from something or you leaving some behavior in the past. So figure out how that would apply to you. Are you walking away from something or are you leaving a behavior? So this has to do with security. So I don't know if some of you feel secure, or you're working on making yourself secure, or you know what's going to make you feel grounded, but that would go with this grounded one. If you're grounded, you'll be secure in your thinking process. Queen of Wands. So Queen of Wands is somebody who has intuition and she knows her self-worth and she has opportunity. She's very clear with her communication, her thinking, and she's very strict on who she lets around her and by her. She doesn't just let anybody. She knows her self-worth. So this is Two of Swords. There's confusion. I feel like you have fear about something. Is it the Queen of Wands that you have a fear about? Are you... This is fear. So the chariot. This is you going in a new direction. Something coming, and I think you had the chariot here. So you've had the chariot twice. Something to do with your identity or life is taking a new direction, Capricorn. Six of Swords. So Six of Swords is you moving away from something from the past. There's intuition where you're ending something. It's something that wasn't beneficial to you. Somebody, I feel like you haven't talked to somebody or separated from them for a while and you're moving away from it. Wheel of Fortune, very good. You had the wheel, did you have the wheel here? No, you did not. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune says that you have everything you need to manifest your future, your dreams. You can go whatever direction you want, Capricorn. You have everything you need right now to make your life what you want. And because it's the heart chakra, it's green, I feel like this could have to do with love. There's somebody you want to move towards or further a relationship, a love relationship, I feel, and you're kind of nervous. And this is lovers. This could be a Gemini around you. So yeah, I feel like you're going in a new direction with love. Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups is karma. It's negative karma. So I don't know if you are getting out of a karmic relationship, which you can Google that if you kind of don't understand. A karmic relationship is usually two people who teach each other something. And it's very powerful. There's a lot of intense feelings, is what that could represent. So then you have strength. Beautiful. This could represent a Leo in your birth chart or a Leo around you, but this is strength. You have strength to, to make it through the karma, is what I'm saying, or what the card is saying. So Princess of Cups is somebody honest and loyal offering you a cup of love. She could be younger than you. The sun, beautiful. I wondered if this was going to come out when I saw the chariot. Because I was going to say something, but I didn't. So you actually have the chariot three times, double fault. So you have the chariot here in this deck. Then you have the chariot here in this deck. And you have it again in this deck. So this is a double card. You see the chariot right there and the sun. So you're going to move forward in a new direction and it's going to bring you happiness and abundance. You're going to thank the universe later, Capricorn. You're going to be very happy. And that's three cards saying your life is going in a new direction. 
King of Coins. So King of Coins says that your coins are going to grow and somebody could be coming in to offer you love and security. And this is the Divine. So I don't know if the Divine is pushing you two together. This is Justice, which could represent a Libra in your birth chart or around you, but this is balance. Something is going to balance out. That's beautiful. So it looks like your coins are going to balance out. Your love life is going to balance out. Ace of Swords. This is somebody spying on you or are you spying on somebody? An Ace of Swords usually means that you may be cutting something out. So something in your life you may not want to carry forward. So you may have to cut something out. I'm getting to move forward in your new life. So Eight of Coins. This is you trying to make a decision about your life. It could have to do with love, could have to do with a job, could have to do with money. But you're trying really hard to figure that out, it looks like. Tower. So Tower moment happens when something needs a change. When the universe feels like something isn't a strong foundation, they'll make it fall apart so we can either rebuild it or move on to a different foundation. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is opportunities coming towards you. And you may have to make a decision concerning yourself and somebody else, and you will make the right decision. And that's a lot of feelings. Something with a lot of feelings. So the moon, you've had this twice too. So one's a throat chakra. The moon is when things have to balance out, yin and yang. And you've had that twice. So I don't know if a secret is getting revealed. Somebody's coming forth with information about why something went the way it did. But that is intuition, balance. Ten of Wands. This is happiness. Beautiful. This is happiness and abundance. Moving into a happy life. And I feel like you have a big opportunity around that. So, okay, this is temperance. Temperance is balance, things going slow, things going when they're supposed to. And this is the divine guiding you. And then you have the fool. The fool is my precursor to love. You're just going on about your business and then love comes in. So five of cups is regret and loneliness. You regret somebody from your past. You're focusing on it, thinking about it. It could be, yeah, you're just thinking about somebody from the past. You're having some regrets, it seems like. All right, now I'm going to pull the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you. Capricorn, you have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Let me find this. So it says, you are constantly being presented with situations that enable you to develop your inner wisdom and assist you in advancing to higher levels of understanding. The lesson is to be aware of these events and recognize them for what they are. To live a mindful life is not only about respecting and honoring those around you, it is also about recognizing every person and circumstance on your path as a teacher. And then the next one for you is grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And this is a lot of feelings, so sorry if some of you have lost somebody. Nothing is gone forever. The belief that we have lost someone or something is merely an illusion to assist us in learning to appreciate our having had it in the first place. The emotion of grief and the sense of loss are absolutely real, but that is the point. The lesson of loss is not about the actual physical separation because the parting is temporary, temporary and illusionary. The, part, the point of the lesson is to acknowledge that the bonds of love never end and that we have been, never been abandoned. When you accept in your heart that you will be reunited with everything you have ever loved, it will give you the ability to move beyond your grief and derive something beneficial from the experience. To wallow in grief is to pass up the opportunity that you and your soul family have devised and learned nothing from it. 
Instead, allow your grief to take you to a place of deeper understanding. Sorry about that. So now I'm going to pull the Fantasy Cats Oracle cards for you. And you have watching. So somebody's watching you or you're watching somebody. A lot of watching going on there. And then the last one we have for you is cuddling number one. So maybe you're watching somebody, some exes or current people because you are craving that cuddling, you're craving that closeness, basically. Wow, that's beautiful. So thank you so much, Capricorn and Crosswatchers, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you so much. Bless you, Capricorn.